Hello, hello, hello. Ah, there we are, okay. Thank you for pointing that out, Blood Devon. All right, yeah. That was, uh, it looks like Logitech G-Hub did an update and for whatever reason, it always messes with all my audio sources. And I just did not notice the bar on OBS. <laughs> all right, well, um, basically the gist of all my faffing around just now was that we are completing the automation on our, uh, on our artisan tables over here. Yes, we are completing, we, we, we almost have it complete. We just need these iron mechanical components. And for that, we need to make this assembler, which the automated workbench, I should say. So, first of all, where is the output on oh, this gonna be? We need it to output like towards the assembler, I think, yes. So we're gonna have it facing this in way. It's kind of a three by three platform. So two light and a red in a corner like that with the heavy in the corner. Okay, so. Let's see here. I guess, yeah, two light, the red, bunch of scaffolding. with the heavy in the corner over there. And that should kind of lay out the base layer of that. Then it's just the lights piled up, the heavy, and so the heavy over there, the lights piled up over there. And it was like, Like that, yes. Okay, and that would mean that it's up, right, forward. Like so, so, and so. So how you doing tonight, Devin? Always lovely to see you in the chat. And then I should be able to bang on it with a hammer. Ah, there we go, there we go. So this is the automated workbench and this is what's gonna make us our mechanical components for our machine. So, good to hear it. So to do that, we just need to take one of these spare design patterns that we have, put away kind of all of our stuff again. And I think I had some spare crafting tables still over in here somewhere. Uh, didn't I? I could have sworn I had some craft. Come on, JEI. Really? Huh. Where did I move them to? Ah, there did I move them to. Okay, cool. And we make those on the engineering table, I think. No? Oh, the scribes. Of course, it would be in the designers. No. Dude. There we go. There we go. And yes, that is crafting components. That's the one we want. Because yes, this thing does need a blueprint on it. So we just put that right nya. It even updates the render. And now we can program it to uh, output specifically what we want. Now, sadly, unlike the normal work table where you can kind of do anything you want, this one needs to be very specific. So we are very specifically, this is only and ever going to make iron mechanical components. Next step is give it power, which, uh, shoot, I'm out of relays. Uh, well, we need to go and make some more relays real quick. Let me see if I can sneak it into one of my crushers. Um, in theory, if I was fully automating everything, then yeah, but um, it's not likely that I'm going to fully automate everything that comes out of the, out of that, um, 
out of the engineering workbench. So if I just put that, yeah. And this won't suck it out because these are program pipes. These are looking for only redstone and glowstone. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to need a little bit of iron grit in order to make the uh, the relays. The HV relays. No? Oh, I... Why did I... Yeah, because you need it for the insulating glass. Wait, didn't I have a ton of insulating glass already? So all I should need is aluminum. Well, it won't hurt having some iron grit on us anyway. You can never have too much iron grit. That's what Mom always said. We just need to go and pick up some aluminum from wherever the heck I put that aluminum pump. Let's see, was it over in this chunk? Might have been. Hmm, where the heck? What is that old aluminum pump jack? Did I tear it down? I shouldn't have. No, wait. Yeah, I did tear it down and I brought it all back to base. I remember I got chided for throwing out some of it because there were like three stacks that wouldn't fit in one of my shulker boxes. Pseudo shulker boxes. Crate. They are called crates. Oof. YouTube just trying to, uh, to suppress us. They don't want the truth of this sweet six live stream getting out. Gotta fight the power, man. Hmm. Not much garlic. Oh well. So it goes. Almost. Hmm. You know, these crushers really run on nothing. They run on eight flux per tick. And it was pointed out to me that, uh, yeah, they can make sand just fine. They can make sand and gravel just fine. Gravel out of cobble that we have infinite amounts of. Use that in a crusher. And then from sand, we can actually get clay in a centrifuge, I think. Yeah, looking at the recipe for clay balls, unfortunately. But uh, if we... Yeah, that would be the only downside is of uh, of this over having a silt excavator is we would be um, getting clay balls instead of clay blocks. So I would either need to accept that it wasn't fully automated and I would have a cog that I would need to occasionally replace on the mechanical compactor, or I would have to accept that it's only storing clay balls. But either way, I think building a couple crushers and building essentially a miniature cobble works might be more advantageous than having a silt excavator, if only because those crushers are so dirt cheap to run. So cheap. But yes, we have grit that I possibly don't need. If I have insulated glass in any of the... Yeah, I do. Whoops. Oh, well. We have iron grit for when we need it. And one of these boxes should have some... Yeah, there we go. So we'll just take that. And then relay... Okay. Crisis everted. I even built a few too many there. But so it goes. Mmm, delicious, delicious grit. Yes. Yeah, let's make a few more connectors while we're at it. I should have some terracotta. Shouldn't I? Yeah, there we go. So just grab some additional aluminum. And then make more of these. That's enough to get by for a little while. Alright, so. First step is we need to figure out where we want to run our power over here. Um, Let's see here. Item inputs. 
Yeah, so I guess that maybe run power like not on that side, but like over here. Can it reach from there? If I take my HV cables out. Okay, that works. And then, of course, use our normal... No, nah, let's not even do a pass-through. Let's just poke a hole in the floor. And we'll just... No, it would have to be a pass-through, wouldn't it? Because, yeah, I'm running it along the ceiling layer, so... Let's just mark this square. And then we can just run it on down. Yep. Okay, so then hit that with a hammer, and we have a pass-through. Now we just need to find the closest trunk line, which is conveniently nearby. I didn't even need to make more relays yet. What do you know? But it's good to have them. It's real good to have them. Uh, let's make a more... Let's make an access way, like, somewhere around here. Like... If I take a couple of blocks out here, I need some building blocks. Just kind of get on down there. Just like so. I picked up something. Did I knock down a wire? I don't think I did. What is that relay connected to now? I totally knocked down a wire. Shoot. All right. Yeah, yeah. The hazards of off-screening, which I am really trying to minimize. Exactly for reasons like that. And it might not be our only death to wire. You never know. I could eventually forget to uh, take the... To, like, put the suit back on after doing maintenance on something. You never know. It could happen. You just have to stay tuned and watch. Alright, so it has power now. And we can see that if I feed it iron plates and copper... Then... It will begin producing. And it has a very pretty animation, in fact. It has all this... It drills, and then it smooshes, and then it tosses it unceremoniously on the ground, so we need to turn that off. All right, so... I think that it should be able of outputting straight to... Yeah. Yeah, I'm really not sure where the damage I have on my armor came from. I must have taken damage from something and not realized it. Or just forgot about it. But, okay. So, if I just put a pipe on the end here, will it link in? It's not looking like it. Shoot. So, it's going to need, like, a hopper of its own, I guess. Yeah, nothing for it, I think. Can I get that just pointing straight down so it's not trying to feed back into itself? Like so. Yeah, that might do. Okay. Yep, unfortunately. Hopper to pipe to hopper. How it has to be done. So now, if we give it a try, we should see that this inputs right into our little buffer storage. Yep. There it goes. And I'm actually not going to pull right... Oh, uh, no, wait, yeah. This one I can pull straight out. It's the input for the assembler that I'm going to need to be fancy with. So just going to need... Am I out of pulsers? I think I might be out of pulsers. Didn't I just cook more pulsers, like, right before the end of the last episode? Hmm, regardless, 
you start making more stuff so that I don't need to carry around this heavy stuff. I could have sworn I just made more pulsers. Oh well, make more. So, in the meantime, just need to take whatever of these I have left. Have I made any light engineering blocks in this thing just yet? Not looking like it. Yeah, it's filling up these first, even though it should technically have all the parts. Let's try giving it a nice excess and see if we can get it to uh, thinking a bit more equitably. So when it completes a charge cycle, yeah, that made redstone. Will it make redstone again? Will it just continue making redstone until it's all full up? Because it's the first recipe on the list. Can I change the priority by doing this? I don't know the deeper lore of how these things work. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay. So it it's going on the priority of its recipes. It'll make redstone until it can't anymore, and then it'll start making light, then it'll start making pistons, then it'll start making heavy, which is the order I wanted to go in. It's just inconvenient right now when I, you know, need pistons. All right, and I should be able to just use the cobble I have in my pocket right now and make some pistons. Good old JEI lag. What would I do without you? Yeah, that's nowhere near enough. We need more light engineering blocks. And we need more sticks. And we just need more in general. <laughs> oh. Oh, if only I could, but no. I think I sprained something doing that last time lapse. It'll be a while before I can do that again. Yeah, if only. If only we had no lag. So, just make these redstone engines. There we go. Oh, we're running low on glass. Oh, boy. And I mean, my computer is not by any means a bad computer. This is just a really demanding game, I guess. Yeah, two pulsers ain't gonna cut it. We need more. But let's see if we can at least get these components loaded up in there so that we can start on, uh, start on phase two a little bit. So just need that. It's gonna need some pipe wire. It's gonna need a gate. I need to get rid of all the schmutt in my inventory. And there we go. So, gate wire. Gate says, wind condition blue, produce pulse. Run wire up. Need another gate, of course. How dare I assume that I was done. Gate says... So long as inventory is less than 75% full, produce a blue signal. And that should be golden. So now we have some iron components coming in, but it's not automated yet, of course, because this is not automated yet. So the next step is we're going to need to figure out how to get iron plates and copper ingots into here. And what's more than that is we're going to need to figure out how to get them in here at ratio. Oh, well. Thank you, 
thank you for stopping by, Blood Devon, and thank you again for letting me know that I had derped badly. Or rather, that G-Hub had betrayed me and I had derped by not noticing. It's always lovely to see you here. I'm sorry I have not been streaming at a time when you've been awake. But uh, you get some good rest, my friend. All right, so. We're gonna need to figure out a couple of things about how the workbench works because these slots are unfiltered. So if I'm just telling it to load up blindly from like, let's say, assume I have a source of plates and a source of copper that are just infinite and I'm loading it up. I need to figure out how to load it up to two plates and one copper, you know, per operation. Because otherwise, if I'm just loading up blindly, eventually there will be copper clogging up the system because it's using less copper than than uh, iron mechanical components. So it either needs to be loading in mechanic in uh, it needs to be loading in iron plates at twice the rate, or it needs to be smart enough to load it at ratio. That is the design challenge right now, for which I am indeed going to need more pulsers. I'm gonna need more. So let's make some more pulsers instead of just whining about it. Get it done. All right, so. First steps first is clear out the inventory a little bit. We've got a goodly supply of redstone engineering blocks in here, so let's swap the recipe once more. And let's just get it making some more mechanical components for us. That seems to be, well, even better. Let's just make a bunch of mechanical components because we can make them faster. Do I have any plates anywhere in here? I have used up all of my iron plates that I had on hand. It's looking like, so let's just start making a stack. Oh, I have blood in here. I'm not sure why I have blood in here, but let's just take care of that. And yes, we want to take all these ingot casts out anyway. Switch it for plate cast when the time comes. And let's go pick up some more iron. Let's smelt a couple of stacks of plates. Might be time to turn the iron excavator back on for a little while. It'd probably be wise while I'm running the generator anyway, so yeah, let's do that. I should be able to just come up and hit these switches. Hmm. Maybe I should be running these like I'm running the redstone. Have it on one color. That might be wiser. And have like them both voided so it only shuts off when both are full. And, you know, doesn't have an overflow risk. Yeah, that might be wise. All right, start making me some plates. And of course, we are also gonna need a stack of copper. All right, so if I just throw these in, this should be making This should be making light engineering blocks. Yeah, it is. Cool. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Heck, I could even go and get some... Uh, I could even go and get some cobble and uh, wood and have it making... Have it making pistons directly right now. My brain is a little bit fried tonight. I'm not sure why. All right. But yeah, if we just run this over here, and we have to make sure that these hoppers are put on the right level. So on here and like on here. And we'll just put some chests on those for now. 
on thar and the thar. And then use our new unintended access pathway to get up on here and remember that I need stuff in my inventory to actually program them. Right. So we just cobble and this and actually it should start making pistons right away, shouldn't it? Because it has everything it needs. Yeah, it do it do. Okay, cool. So now, so long as I load up mechanical components, it will eventually start producing pistons for me automatically. So I can just run these over and this should produce a nice little bit of piston for us. A little bit of the old in and out. All right, there we go. And this we can use to make a lovely batch of redstone engines and thus pulsers. Now there are upgrades for these mechanical artisans, but as far as I can tell, they don't work. So this is just the speed that it'll be running at. It's a pity too, because there's an upgrade for making it automatically repair tools, but it just don't work. Nothing I've tried can get the upgrades to go in. They just refuse to get into the slots. Apparently they're supposed to have some sort of NBT data in them set by the mod developer that hasn't been set. So effectively that means that Austin Supercar has disabled them. All right, so let's switch that back before I forget about it. Because yes, that is the order that I of priority I want it to craft in. Why aren't you making pistons? You should be making pistons every time you're firing. Oh well, we'll just take the pistons that we have, put these back. Heck, we could even just uh, do it ourselves. Probably wiser. All right, and just grab us some cobble, grab us some wood. Don't grab your wooden Publix, kids. It's a uh, it's liable to get you arrested. Learned that one the hard way. All right. And from there, we can just assemble Piston. And from there, we take those and assemble Redstone. Ah, we're out of glass. Shoot. This is getting a little bit grim. Do I have any sand at all? Not much. Do I have any glass at all? Not much. Well, let's hope that these 11 redstone engines that I think I'm assembling here, these 10 redstone engines that I have assembled here, are going to be enough to at least get the basics going. I think they should. I think they should. Yeah, they really don't take much laser power at all, though, do they? They just zoom. All right, so. So, so, so. I think the first step is going to be getting an intermediary storage over here for the copper. Because this is a rather long distance for it to do fine work for. So I'm going to want just like a wooden hopper full of copper. And let's give it a little bit of distance because, yeah, I'm probably going to have some sort of system. So this will be where the copper is coming in. And we'll run this under the base. I'm going to need to make myself more gold transport pipe. 
I can tell you that right away. Shoot, we're out of glass. We need more glass. Well, unfortunate. But we need to do a little bit of digging for sand. Yeah, I think their first machine I might make once I have all of the engineering blocks is I'm going to make myself some more crushers in order to make myself automated sand because I need it. I don't even need to get out full. I just need the tank. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I'm also going to need the excavator. There is the excavator. All right. So, what area have I not thoroughly ruined just yet? This is looking relatively pristine. Let's ruin it. Okay, that should be enough sand for me to set up a filter. The old-fashioned way. Vanilla mechanics, man. They do work. Respect the classics. All right. And just to keep on a rolling. Because, yeah, I need a lot of sand. I need those crushers so I can make all the sand. Can't believe I didn't notice that my mic source had been reset. I really... I mean, obviously my mic sounds a whole lot better. The mic upgrade that I bought, but I hate the software is... No, I, I like the software. A big part of why I sound so much better is that I've figured out the auto filters on the software. So I like what the software does, but I hate that it messes with my fucking audio sources every time it updates. And it updates like every couple weeks. This microphone is just a blue Yeti. It's years old. Why are you still updating its software? You think you'd be done by now. Eh, that's just me bitching. And bitching is useless activity. Really, I should just look into it deep, more deeply and figure out what the problem is and fix it more permanently. That would be the effective solution. Hmm, presuming that a permanent solution does exist. Which isn't always guaranteed. So life goes. So life goes. Ah, what a lovely debris field we've initiated onto the floor here. Makes you feel good about yourself seeing the utter mess you make, doesn't it? Hmm. Guess how we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for a whole stack of sand. Let's go. Why not? It's not like the excavator is going to complain. It's fully infinite. And I suppose that's the advantage of having no one watching at the moment. I don't feel quite so bad that I'm not actively entertaining when there's no one here. This will only mostly be, be seen by people watching it when it's out as the pre-recorded episode, so you can just fast forward through it. Not listen to me natter to myself. Or you can if you like. Whatever you're into. I won't judge. Uh, 
Alright, that's probably enough sand for now. Alright, so we just need to... I forgot to put my relays away. Alright, and yes, we absolutely need to put the Faraday armor on. Almost, almost gave Blood Devon his blood. Not this time. Not this time. The heck? That's more like it. All right, and I'm not even gonna bother with the compactor. That's more for set and forget type things. For this, we want speed. Eat some delicious life-giving tripes. And I keep a going. Hello, 12th Century Fox. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, I needed more sand. Um, I've come to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to build a salt excavator. I'm probably going to build the, uh, the crusher. The crusher stack. Yep. But um, that is going to come after... Uh, Devin has already left, I'm afraid. That is going to come after I have the blocks automated for it so that I'm not having to scrabble around to make a million engineering blocks by hand, you know? Yes. It's rough and it's coarse and it'll get everywhere. It'll be beautiful. All right. What did you... But yes, in the meantime, I just needed a bit more glass to make a bit more transport pipe. Honestly, I should probably just... Both of it. Yep, all of it. In the meantime, though, that is sufficient for my purposes. Yep, we need all the transport pipe. We need all the stuff. So, we built this assembler here, and what this assembler will do is it will take iron plate and copper ingots. At a two to one ratio, and it will automatically turn them into these lovely mechanical components. And that will just pipe it into our mechanical artisan. And once we have that fully supplied, we'll have everything fully automated for our redstone engineering blocks, the first step. And yes, it's a very lovely animation. It, it like drills and it stamps and it smooshes and it, it, it's a very beautiful machine. I love these machines. So our first step is going to be, I am making an intermediary storage for the copper here because this is quite a long line over from our main storage that where you'd have to run it. And I'm needing very precise arguments here because I'm going to need to make a a thing for uh, loading it up at ratio. Let's actually make another access pathway down here because this is probably a point where we're going to be popping our head in and out a whole lot. Yeah, it's it's kind of like they're kind of like carpenters. They're a lot like carpenter machines. So. The design principles I'm going to develop for this one are going to be a lot like how carpenter machines are ultimately going to go. But first, we need to just get the stuff over there. So, of course, I'm going to have... And I need to pick up more pipe wire. So this is going to say wind blue signal, pulse the pipe, because this is just a simple down onto storage. This isn't going to be the complex bit. Now, where is the damn storage? Oops. 
It's somewhere down over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's just run it on over. And let's also eliminate that waypoint I made in order to just uh, make my pass through more easily. Fill in the blanks. And uh, get her going. So, we need to run it like... I should have dropped the pipe down over on this end. Yeah, it's looking like we need to move it over this way and then just back. And this is why I needed more glass. So next, we need to just put some pipe on the wire, give it yet another gate. And you were gonna say when inventory is less than 50% full because this is a long way and it's a, it's a small storage, emit blue. All right, and from here, let's just make it easy and put the pipe on the bottom side. Should be able to just kind of shuffle my way on down, holding down right click. I need more wire. So it goes. Let's pick up a couple. Come on. That little parkour hop is very helpful, but not 100%. Ah, uh, yes, I think I'm also going to finally need these gold gates. Possibly, maybe. Those gold gates that I started cooking a few episodes ago. All right, so continue running blue wire. Just all the way down. The heck? Spider? Where? Did I disrupt the lighting somewhere up top? I mean, it's easy to resolve with all our murder holes and stuff like that, but I'd rather it didn't happen at all. Where did you come from? I don't see any disrupted light sources. I'm in F7 mode, right? Right. Huh. Disturbing. Disturbing. Hmm. Well, regardless, let's just continue on in the meantime. All right, so. Hmm, I am running out of space in this bag. Is there anything that I could dump? I could kind of dump the bucket. Kind of dump the lever. Yeah, I'll dump the lever. Frickin' hypothermia, man. You know, wasn't the wetsuit insulated? If I put that on, will I stop dying? I need to pick up more food. Yeah, looks like I'm slowly but surely stopping dying. Or it could just be that I'm standing next to the wonderful Tinder. Who knows? Okay, so. Now, we're going to need to start making something to make us some iron plates. And you know what that means. It means it's finally time to build some stampy machines. So do I have any heavy engineering blocks on hand? Not looking like it. That means that we need to make some more pistons and thus some more. Ah, here's the problem. Here's the problem. I'm out of torches.
make some more torches. Yeah, we really want to be wearing our armor at all times, if at all possible. Hypothermia be damned. Okay, that should prevent any further incursions for the moment. Right, but I also need to get this set up to make me some... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to need more copper gears, it's looking like. Hmm, damn it. Okay, I can make one stamper machine. Because I should have one heavy engineering block in there. Yeah, that I use to set the filter. But I don't have a piston. Shoot. We need to make some by hand. Unfortunate. Do I have any copper gears on hand at all? A few. Enough for maybe one craft. Have I got any more plates? I don't. It's getting kind of chilly again. All right. Just make me more plates. Don't know why that stopped in the first place. Must have not had sufficient time to melt. Hmm. Yes, this is definitely a troublesome process, but hopefully it's a process that we should only need to trouble ourselves with once. So, then we need to make NG blocks. Oops. And I need some more iron, of course. I need some more iron, of course. Is this doing? Is this counting up again? Yes, it do. I am very proud of how smoothly the redstone controls are working out so far. The fact that we can just turn something on the other side of the world on at a distance is beautiful. Alright, so make a couple of those. And with that, we can make a couple of pistons, just like with this and this. Make piston, like so. And that should be more or less good for making a couple of uh, stampy machines, a couple of uh, metal presses. Yeah, all it needs is a heavy engineering block and a piston, and that's really the only expensive bits. The rest is just steel scaffolding and conveyor belts. So let's pick up our scaffolding. Do I still have conveyor belts? I have one. That's not enough. Also, I can put away our construction blocks. Uh, so does, uh, da, 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 where is leather? It would be in here. Uh, not really very much. What goes into conveyor belts? Plastic. Leather. Just iron and redstone? Okay, I can swing that. So, make conveyor belt. Plus, that should be more than enough. So... Let's make a first one over here. We're gonna need our logistics bag once more. So this is where they will ultimately go. Inserting into the machine, that's also gonna need a pipe plug. There. And we just need to lay it out. I think I'm just gonna lay it out kind of straight on in. Like so. No, I don't want it blocking that access. Well, I can move that access pathway. If it's a problem, I can move it. 
So redstone engineering block on the bottom, I do believe. Piston in the middle. Heavy engineering on top. Then I just need my hammer to bonk the piston into place. And like a so. Oh, conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. How rude of me. Now bonk. Huzzah. Okay, it stopped raining so I can put the scuba suit away. And stop juggling around armor. Okay, so now it's going to need... Do I still have that... Uh... Hello, computer wizard. Yes, I haven't felt up to it for a couple of days, and it's just been at odd times when I have felt up to it. So it goes. Ah, there it is. So that's going to need steel plates, I do believe. Yes, yeah, steel plates and engineer's wire cutters, which I should have in my bag, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I get rid of those? Are they in logistics? Uh, I guess not. So then, wire cutter. Where are you at, wire cutters? Huh. I guess I lost my wire cutters. Well, they're easy to replace. It's literally two sticks and a piece of iron. All right, there we go. Hey, it's fine. I've been drinking a little bit too, so we're all a little bit, uh, a little bit frazzled at the moment. It's fine. All right, so we put this down nya. And from Nar, you know, I could just run it over literally on the conveyor belts if I made some verticals, but meh. Meh, I say. All right, so we are going to want a hopper, nya. And I think I might run it from my intermediary storage over here. Just because it's really close. Might as well take advantage of it. Like the helpless little storage system that it is. It's asking for it, I swear. It likes it. Oh, I have my torches literally in my hand. What am I doing? And from there... Yeah, so if I just take these... We should see that it just drops them out onto the thing. Four at a time. Oh, it doesn't have power. Of course it doesn't have power. <laughs> Silly me. All right. So. All right, you were going through some health stuff. Well, you'll have to... You'll have to make a celebration of it. For sure. Alright, so then we can just... And yeah, I'm just gonna run an HV relay right off the side here, and we'll just poke that straight through the floor. Oh, wow. Ha! That's unlucky. That's unlucky for sure. So, then I need to replace what was broken. Just, yeah, like so. It'll be fine. So, HV wire. There to there. I believe it was going to this one, as well as way downtown over to this one. Uh, 
and then I can just do there to there to there. And that gets me a stampy machine working. So now we need to route the output. And it really does seem wasteful making an expensive build craft pipe just to go. Yeah, yeah. It is maybe slightly more meh this way, simply outputting right into the thing, isn't it? Hmm. Need some water. Really need to figure out a better hydration source. This whole drinking seawater thing ain't working out long term. Okay, so how do I make vertical conveyors? It's literally just three conveyors and some iron. Yes, delicious, healthy seawater. Okay, so running it up here, the goal is going to be getting it into there. So I think I need to make a horizontal piece like right there. And that just doesn't connect automatically, does it? No. Oh, it doesn't in fact need a piece onto it? Okay. So can I then just like, I've never played much with conveyor belts. Hmm. Ah, it looks like it just goes up like so, okay. So then if I place a horizontal into it, can it just, uh, can it just go? Okay, so if I run my stampy machine with this ugly looking amalgamation. No, that's not working. Yep. I think this is a, this was a bad idea, unfortunately. Hmm. If only I had a vertical hopper. Nah, we're just going to have to waste some pipe. It's fine. Ah, well. You must have sensed that the stream was happening. Yes. I called out to you on a psychic level and you answered. Thank you. All right. So pipe plug on that end. And we need to wrench it into proper position. There we go. And it's of course going to need a gate and a pulser. And thankfully this one can just say that when inventory, and we have to make sure it's on the north side, is less than 75% full, power the pulser. And now if I run the machine or even just, even just do this. Yes, that's inserting properly. Good, good. And if I just... Okay, so now it's going to need some control systems on this thing. So the first thing I'd like to test is, let's clear out my inventory a little bit. It's getting kind of janked. first thing I'd like to test is if I take some, say, structural pipe off of this line, 
and run it on down over to the hopper. If I put a gate, no, I, I can just run it off this one. So I need to put some pipe wire down here, run it over to our, is it not gonna let me bridge? I think I need to position the structural pipe like so in order to bridge it then. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so on this one I can also say that if you contain less than 75% produce blue signal, or I could just, you know, link and then completely take this off, but it, it doesn't matter. It's the same deal either way. So on this one, I can then put a gate on. Any old gate will do. And I want to see if these wooden hoppers can be controlled with redstone like a regular hopper does. So for the moment, I'll say if blue signal emit redstone, just so I can test it. No, these can't be controlled by redstone. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Or at the very least, they don't like receiving redstone from a gate. Maybe it needs to be received from dust directly? Maybe. We can test that. So if I just, like, I don't know, like so, and grab some redstone dust just out of here, then I can make sure it's pointing directly in there. And I put my levers away, didn't I? Well, my lever. Okay, so that's redstone signal. And then will it, yeah, it do, it do still output. So these things cannot be controlled by redstone. That's unfortunate. Okay, on the other hand, if I have this receiving signal, then yeah, it won't stamp, but that's still piling it up on the belt. So this will be feeding infinitely. So instead I need to make it so that the draw from over here is controlled by the gates being, uh, by the gears being full over there. So I'm probably gonna need to make this structural pipe a little bit neater when I, uh, well, first of all, let's run the output line or the input line, I should say, just so that we know what we're working with. I'm just gonna get rid of these vertical conveyors. Never gonna use them, I don't think. They're jank. So this is gonna need a diamond transport pipe. It's gonna need golden transport pipe. And we're just going to, yeah, I think I'll run it underground. Why not? So we'll have this be the ultimate input point. Running down there. And do I have a free spot over here? Looks like I do. So then I can just kinda over down there. And where was it? Over here. So we just kinda need to squirrel it on over. Just run pipe over this way, like so. Yeah, this access hatch is getting a little bit crowded for sure. Okay, so that's gonna need a gate on there. And it's going to say when contains 75%, Got to give it wire. Emit blue. And we'll also need one over on there. Hmm. 
You know what? Let's not have this emit blue. Let's have this emit white. Yeah. Have this emit white. And that one emit blue. And now we'll run the structural pipe over here. That needs to start there because it's being wonk. But I can just kind of then scroll it over. And from there, I should be able to ridge it onto here. Stupid freaking hypothermia. Ah. <sighs> Come on, why must it always rain? This is supposed to be my parade. <sighs> Did the rebreather go? Did I accidentally toss out the rebreather somehow? Also, why am I carrying around silver ingots for God knows what reason? Who knows? Ah, no, there it is. All right, so... Again, need to be very careful of those wires now. So, run the blue wire over. Just all the... Well, Blood Devin's going to be happy. And I'm all the way back here, of course. In the middle of the night, of course. In the one part of the world that's not fully lit, of course. <laughs> yes, I do. I very much do. Frickin' hypothermia. No, I had it off because I was freezing to death. Because that armor is not insulated against temperature. And I thought I could get away with it. Shows me. Okay, so that's one piece. Two, three, where's the boots? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna need tinder, is what we're gonna need. There's the boots. Now I can stop being so shy about this. I can just kind of wander all over. Okay, rearrange ourselves. Okay, first of all, put the dang stuff back in. Yeah, deconstructing the wires probably would have been wise. Would have been wise, probably. Okay, so, pipe wire. Blue pipe wire. So now we can just run this on over. I said we can run that on over, thank you. Okay, and now we've got both of them going on down the line. So blue and white. And let's go fetch some tinder. 
because I'm already almost dead again in terms of freezing. Come press stick. Yes. Safety third, everyone. There and there should kind of cover this entire area, more or less. All right. And also, I don't think I hooked it up on this end, did I? Yeah, I didn't. All right, so there's that. That. That, and that should be more or less my inventory arranged, the important parts of it. And white wire down into the underbase. Run it all across. Also eliminate that shameful death. Well, the marker. The shame will remain regardless. Pipe wire. A little bit glitchy sometimes. Yes! No one will know except for everyone watching. Which, I mean, with my viewership, that's practically no one. Hey. Upsides. Lag spikes. The lag agrees with me. There we go. All right, so. Squirrel the wire on over there. And on over there. And we are going to need an AND gate on this one, very specifically. So we're going to say win blue and white, then you can have a pulsar and you can activate it. So what this will say is, so long as the hopper isn't full and the gears aren't full, you can make yourself some gears. So turn this off. Now, unfortunately, I think that might not be sufficient entirely. I might need to put a redstone control. Oh dear, it's not. Oh, because redstone got into there, of course. Okay. So now it should be loading up the system relatively well, shouldn't it? Why is this not pulsing? Oh, duh. Problems with dying and all that. At least we found our engineer's manual before it got lost. All right, so now this will load up gears to fill this slot as well as to fill this slot and then it should stop. So from there, all I need is to finish the automation of our mechanical components and we should be complete on both redstone and light engineering. Yeah, probably. That would probably be wise. Let me up. What do you know? That is as it should be. That is as it should be. This won't be such a problem when the system is fully pressurized because then it'll have items filling up their slots. 
But in the meantime, yeah, it's going to be a problem until that point. Why did I make... Oh, in case I needed to make more hoppers or more pistons for pulsers and stuff like that. That's why I made this first. Okay, but... Yeah, as well as more pistons for for um, stampy machines, because I'm going to need to make a couple of them. Because I don't think this thing will be happy with just one stampy machine. I think it's going to need two of them to match the output rate of uh, the copper over here. God damn. Temperature, just deadly. So, going to need to throw a couple more mechanical components into here and prioritize light engineering blocks for the moment to make some more pistons. Do I have any? Yes. So just need to go on ahead and chuck those into the system manually. I can just throw those in here, in fact. So that should be slowly making us some light engineering blocks at the moment, as soon as it fills up with eight. And then the next time it pulses, we should see light. And then after that, it should make pistons. I think it goes down the list, unless... No, I think it tries to craft all of them simultaneously in priority order of how the uh, recipes are laid out, I think. I think. Let's see, will it craft? No, it doesn't. So yeah, it'll craft as many as it can for these components, and then it'll start crafting pistons. Or it should start crafting pistons. No, it won't start crafting pistons because I designed it to craft pistons with with uh, jungle wood, not with not with this wood. That's the problem. That's why it wasn't crafting pistons. Right, and I designed it to work with jungle wood because jungle wood is the wood we'll eventually be able to fully automate. So if I throw in jungle wood, that should start. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. All right, so now we have pistons. Now we have all the pistons. So I'm going to make two more stampy machines. Let's call it like here and here. And they'll both lead into the same storage system. Yeah, that's looking like it might be a plan. So just need two of these. Because they'll be running this in way. And then, and that, this, and that. And these ones, I think I will be able to control with redstone because unlike the gear machine where it needs to be put on, on this instead of directly onto the storage system, at least I think, at least I think it needs to be put there. Let's, uh, let's test this real quick. So if I take this condition off so it's no longer demanding pipe or demanding copper, I should say. If I put a hopper like right dang here, this should not work. At least it didn't work historically. It's been a while since I tested it. Yeah, see, this does not work, unfortunately. It has to be on that square. That square so it can load up more of them. So then produce blue signal, right? No, produce white signal. But now I can take these pistons and I can make more stampy. Take hammer. Ah, uh, shoot, I need more heavy engineering blocks. Well, that is also indeed why we are making more, more pistons, because we need them for the heavies. 
So then for heavies, I think I should be able to just throw in steel mechanical components and electrum, right? I think so, anyway. Yeah, if I just throw in a bunch of electrum and all the steel mechanical components I have, then if it has pistons to spare, which it do, then it should be able to start making those. At least I think it should. No, it also needs steel. No, what does it need? Hoppers? Oh, it needs bronze gears. Shoot, I forgot about those. So yeah, I might want to back this machine off a little bit just to give me all the room down there, but we'll see. We'll see. There we go, though. That's a couple heavy engineering blocks made for us. Okay, so then we can just do this. And we can just run our energy over into it. We'll run it like right down the center. We'll even be fancy and make a full proper. Nah, we won't. We, Yeah, we will. We will. Stop being indecisive. And then just a one of those right here should do the trick. So take my HV cable, which I already have out, because my inventory is a mess right now. And there, and there. And I made that waypoint already, right? Yeah. I mean, cats can be trained, technically-ish. Beauteous. All right, and can I just snag wire off of this? Indeed I can. Yeah, I shouldn't have built this machine so close, I don't think. Oh well. Oh well. The things you learn in the process of prototyping. Yeah, this is gonna take a horrendous amount of copper to pressurize. And copper is our shortest, most dear resource right now. Oh well, needs must. All right, so. These both are going to be plate casters. So need to swap this over. Metal plate, metal plate. Metal plate, metal plate. And these ones, I believe, I literally can just put a hopper right there. And they should immediately just work. Yeah. So these ones, unlike the gear machine, if I turn these ones off with a redstone signal, then these ones shouldn't pull from the hoppers anymore because they're directly on the functional blocks. Yeah, see, and it, it locks, cool. So these ones are a lot easier to automate. It's just the gears that's the odd duck. So, 
gonna just have a hopper on the end of this one. And I'm also just gonna run a little bit more conveyor belt right on over into it. They're both gonna be outputting to the same place. And unfortunately, I'm going to need to wrangle pipe a little bit because, yeah, I can't put a controller directly down on there. But what I can do is I can just take my structural pipe and let's go off the top just so it's working off of one single gate. Gates are cheap, but why be wasteful? So, need a gate there, need a gate there, need pipe wire down the length. And that will say, when the inventory below you contains more than 75%, emit blue. And you will say, on blue signal, emit redstone. So let's start testing this out. Yeah, you see, the problem with this one is, even though we've done our best to prevent any waste, just the fact that it has to output onto the conveyor belt means a couple of copper are probably gonna be wasted every time it has to shut off. So, oh, I should say when not blue signal emit redstone. Yes, of course. Because you're looking for if you have space. Whereas this would be looking for if you are full. Okay. Now, do I have any plate in here that I could just shove in there to make this test faster? No, not really. speed this up to the furthest extent of my capabilities. Yeah, that's why I don't use these conveyor belts, because of the fact that they make entities that you can run into. Okay, and I can also increase the testing power of this by... There we go. And then I can just take this off. And yeah, look at that. It stops dead. And those aren't even entities. Those are just... Uh, those are just um, sitting in the... I like how they kind of jingle back and forth like this. Okay, so yes, this will work as a limiter. So we just need to finish running that down over to Mia. Run pipe down the length. And you'll have the same damn instructions as the other one. Whereas you will be saying, if I can actually get on it. There we go you will be saying when you don't have blue signal, emit redstone. Cool. And just to confirm, I put iron in there, it don't work. And I can increase that up to 75%, so it's just a fully pressurized system. Fully loaded up with a little bit of iron. And yeah, that should work. Now, I just need to run it from my main bus down onto here. Let's kind of start finally sorting away. 
Well, you know, I think I might have one more hopper just right here, just acting as the final, uh, acting as a further buffer storage because it'll need to split off of here because then otherwise I would need to run two lengths of, of pipe wire all the way down to the main bus. So this will be a little bit shorter. No, this will be coming in from the bottom. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it'll work. It'll just need to be right down there, and that should work. Yep. All right, and yeah, I need to have it off the main bus too. Uh, I think I will run that off the bottom if I can. I can't. Oh boy. Need to run that off the side then. So where is the closest free slot on this? Looking like it's going to be over here. So. You are of course going to have a gate. As well as a bit of pipe wire. I'm out of pipe wire it's looking like. And you are going to say on blue signal, then create pulse. Gonna need a little bit of pipe plug here. just to get it on into there. Now I need to figure out where our new friend is. All the way down over here. Gonna need to run that a little bit over here. Now you are gonna have a gate way up there along with a little bit of pipe wire. And you are going to say when 50%, less than 50% emit blue. And now I just need to go and fetch some more pipe wire. Oh, isn't the spaghetti down here just looking delicious, though? Mmm. Wonderful. I love Italian food. Yeah, I'm going to need to cook some more pipe wire, too. Do I have much lapis in storage? Probably not. I've got a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> no. The thing you have to ask with the cat is... Are you training them or are they just training you? Because really, if you're adjusting your schedule to them, they ain't the ones being trained. Be honest. All right, once more into the breach. So, our beautiful spaghetti wire increasing. Oops. Mmm, delicious blue pasta. Yes, and in fact, I can probably jank it over here. Yeah. Kind of save us space as much as I can. Oops. I am close to needing more pipe. I 
have to kind of work it around my relays too. All right, so that's connection. Now we're just gonna need to run wire on down. Where is the blue wire on that one? There it is. All right. Oh, speaking of old men, I've been running the diesel generator all this time, haven't I? How is the wool situation looking? Kind of grim. Let's shut that off. And let's go buy some more. Probably gonna have to sort away my inventory in order to buy his wool. Uh, da, 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 da. HV wire connectors. Those, those. That's all the logistics stuff taken care of. You, you, you. Yeah, that's should be enough to carry home whatever wool he's made by now. But yeah, those diesel generators, they go through wool fast. And automated wool production is a must as an add-on to the... Uh... We have some angels in the area, it seems. But yes, um, in this pack at least, I think hemp seed oil is definitely the source you want for, for your seed oil, hemp seeds because then the hemp fiber as a byproduct will allow you to automate wool. And that is just essential. Because you can see the, the consumption rate on these things going through a couple of stacks an hour? Yeah, yeah. What you really got to pity is poor Riley. When Riley was doing his playthrough, it was not known at the time that pollution would pass through Buildcraft extraction pipes. So he had to pile up filters three at a time, and he just had to clean them out whenever they had a stack of debris in each one. Okay, we can turn that back on in the meantime. Because that should last for a little while. Poor, poor Riley. It took me hours of experimentation before I finally got frustrated enough to just throw a damn buildcraft pipe on it and see if it worked. Because, you know, that just seemed like that shouldn't be how it works, but it do. It indeedy do. All right, so I believe it was, I was running blue wire, yeah. There we go, there's my project. Need more. Yes, when I first revealed the when I first revealed the secret of uh, buildcraft pipes to Riley, he said, "Dude, you are the Messiah." His exact words. Um, 
unfortunately, they only extract the soot from the bottom. If you put an extraction pipe on the side of a pollution filter, it'll pull the wool out. And I mean, every other means of trying to get the wool out doesn't work. Like hoppers don't work. Uh, conveyor belts didn't work. Everything seemed to be blocking pollution. So why would that one thing be different? Wait, is this copper? Shoot, I gave it the wrong damn line. I hooked up to the wrong damn line, didn't I? How did I do that? Well, whoops. At least the iron is shorter. It's a shorter transit. Okay, take two. Yeah, I know. It looks... All the resources look a little bit weird at first, don't they? No, wait. That wasn't the one I wanted to take down. I wanted to take down this one. Yeah. This one was perfectly fine how it was. So that one would be saying, uh, I imagine it was just a simple extraction gate with blue wire saying like wind blue signal produce pulse. Okay, close that off. Okay, iron. Double confirm the chest is iron, yes. And unfortunately that can't, no wait. That is the line that we wanna extract from, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. So, we didn't waste that much time. We, we've, uh, we've got something of an acceptable compromise here. Okay, so then a little bit of blue wire. Say when blue signal produce pulse. Connect the line. Connect the wire. There we go. Probably an indication that I'm tired and a little bit frazzled, isn't it? Uh, solution to that, take another sip of beer, I think. Hmm. Surely that will absolutely help my mental facilities. Okay, so you're receiving iron now? You are. Cool. So then just extract off of both of these. Put up into both of those. Get our pulsers and gates. Two and four. As well as our pipe wire. So that is going to say when item on the east side is less than 75% full, produce blue, go down. You are going to say when blue
reduce pipe pulse. And just copy and paste over to here. Yes, they are capable of round robining. Oh, that's already full? Neat. Um, if there are multiple types of items on the filter, then that means that, like, it'll pull first redstone, then glowstone, then redstone, then glowstone. If, say, I had redstone and glowstone on the, on the list. That would be an alternate means of ensuring... Why? Why is Weeping Angel on my base? Let's despawn that real quick. Um, it would be, cause I could put more pulsers on it, but eh, I just didn't feel like doing it that way, I guess. It's the same amount of pulsers either way. Ultimately, pulsers are what determines... Pulsers are what determines how fast items are extracted. And... There's only so many sides you can put pulsers on, you know? So... We had a weeping angel spawn in our base. Where did that happen? Ah, eh, goddammit. It happened, like, somewhere in this area, didn't it? He was a part of the cog dancer unlit or something? Not looking like it. I don't see any yellow squares anywhere. Oh, there's the problem. There's your problem. Surprised they haven't popped up and said hello before now. Um, I have enough diamonds for the moment. We're eventually going to have to have an excavator on Kimberlite for the Electrochine anyway. And at that point, we'll have all the diamonds. So yeah, I have enough diamonds for the moment. But uh, yes, I like, I prefer wood diamond pipes because when they are on fluid pipes, then... Uh, the wood diamond fluid pipe extracts at 1.6 buckets per pulser. The wooden fluid pipe just 0.2 buckets per second per pulser. And I think the item extraction on these ones are faster too. They're just better pipes in general, and they just cost a diamond per a bunch. And extraction pipes are the ones you use most rarely anyway. Well, not most rarely, but you, you get they're more rare than our transport pipes. All right, so we can close up this. So we now have a nice little supply of iron plates being made, and we also have a supply of copper ingots just in storage. Now we need to figure out how to get them into our assembler at ratio. And this is going to be a little bit of an interesting task, I think. I can finally sort away my inventory, though. I've had a clogged up inventory forever, and it's making me feel awful. This one. Into there. You... Okay. So, 
so, so, so, so. I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to first, I'm gonna need an extraction pipe on both of them, obviously. I think I'm actually going to run them into the same line. They're both gonna be on the same pipe network. So that means I'm gonna need an iron pipe somewhere along the line. Do I have any of those in storage? Keeping them on me, cool. So let's determine where they're gonna meet up. Eh, yeah, at the top. And let's just use some pipe plugs. Well, I don't need a pipe plug there because that's on a gate. We'll need a pipe plug here though. Like so. And then I should just be able to run that right on over. And no, I don't even need an iron on there. I just need a clay. Yeah. Because clay will prioritize an inventory you can put into over anything else. So. How to figure out the logic here. I guess obviously need pulsers on both. I think that what I can do, oh yes, I'm also going to need a gate on the end. Ah yes, I need to test, I need to test. Okay, I need to test if gates can even read the inventory on that thing appropriately in the first place. So, need to get myself a shulker box. I'm low on shulker boxes for whatever reason. I keep losing them somehow. It's not a huge deal, they're cheap, but still. So if I load up just a bunch of cobble just to load up its inventory with something. Then will it be able to realize that the inventory is stuffed full? Okay, so if I say contains less than 50, less than 75. Okay, and then if I take some out, okay, that should be 50% full, exactly. Okay. Yep, that is looking like it's reading appropriately. Cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So then, that will be the first signal condition, is all these, all these extractors need to shut off when the pipe system, or when the destination is full. So this'll just be saying, produce blue signal and blue signal will be the main shutoff system. Now, it, it, it's normally as simple as just saying when you have blue signal, yeah, I think these are gonna need to be and gates, but not in this case, not in this particular case. In this particular case, yeah, it'll be relying on blue signal, all right, but it'll have to be an and condition. And the other condition is going to have to be dependent on like, so this is the copper, right? I think I'm gonna need another color of pipe wire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna, there's a pipe condition called uh, when item is traversing. And I think I can use that to make one pipe dependent on the other. So do I have any dyes in storage anywhere? I have just a little bit of rose red, that's probably not enough. I have some ink sacks, that should do. Yeah, that should be enough. So make some black wire. 
Don't need much. Just need enough for these two gays to see each other. Just like a half a stack should do, which is what I can create conveniently enough. Yeah, I know. And I'll be on the lookout for when pipe merchants are in town. <clears throat> okay, so on this one. No, wait, that's not correct. Yeah, it is. It is. So on this one, I say when item is. No, I, I need another gate on this. Yeah, any old gate should do, though. Any old gate should do. I say when item traversing produce black signal. I don't know. I've never used black wire before. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, and then this one will say wind blue signal and wind black signal, then pulse the pipe twice. Single power pulse two times. And that would mean, okay, single power pulse is a very powerful pipe condition. It doesn't just like pulse the pulser for a second, it pulses it for one item count per pulse that you queue up. If I were to make a redstone clock that were just pulsing this over and over again, it would remember how many pulses it has and it would pulse that many items out. So every time an item traverses through this pipe, it will pulse two items out of that pipe. A two to one ratio, you see? And now we just kind of need to invert that all the way back. We're going to run white wire on down, our third color of wire. We're going to put a gate on here. We're going to say when item traversing produce white signal. Oops, not that one. Can I just rip that gate off, please? Cool. Eh, I kind of need to get under this, don't I? Not there it goes. There we go. That works. Run it all the way over. Okay, and what this one will say is when you have blue signal and when you have white signal, pulse the pipe, uno, one to two ratio. So now all we need is some sort of instantiating event, something to prime the pump. Because, yeah, as it exists now, this ain't really doing. So I can just say when blue signal, Wait, you don't have blue signal? You should have blue signal on this. You're reading blue signal, right? Why you know? Did I not get blue pipe wired down to all this? Okay. There you go. Okay. So you, I can say, disconnected from the black signal, then pulse once. So that pulses once, and now we see, why did you know? Oh, because the, the dang blue signal isn't run down. No, it is. Did the black signal rot, not run down? Yeah, you should. Okay, so let's reprime the pump. Blue. Okay, so there, ah yes, there you go. There you go, now it go. Okay, and we should see that this will shut off when, let's have it on real low. Okay, 
Okay. And if I take out that shulker box again and just fill it up with cobble until it's full enough to shut off. We should see that copper will stop right away, but iron will keep on going for a little while until it's filled up with 66 iron plates. Come on. Save my ass, Tinder. Yeah, see, it keep on going, keep on going. Why is it stopped? It stopped because it's out of power, but that's suitable to me right now anyway. Um, It should be up to... You have in this hopper, right? No, you don't. Oh, you're out of power. You didn't produce enough. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, the that pulsar memory will still be in there. So when we... What? How did we run out of diesel? How the hell did we run out of diesel? We ran out of oil, didn't we? Shoot, we ran out of oil. That's a disaster. How do we run out of oil so damn fast? Okay, okay. Well, I can at least steal like a bucket from the build craft refinery. Put it over in here. That should get us a little sip of power to get the system like reprimed. No, that didn't work. Shoot. Yeah, also I need to turn that off until I have the uh shoot. Okay, so it's looking like it's time to move the pump jacks again because uh screw my life. God damn, we're going through resources fast. Nope. I forgot to turn notifications on Discord off, it seems. Well, I am too exhausted to deal with this BS right now. Um, I think that it's time for me to call it a night. Yep. I probably shouldn't have streamed in the first place tonight. If you can, uh, if you can, uh, see that from the quality of my spaghetti. But yeah, you can kind of see how the system works, right? You can see that if we hadn't have run out of, uh, power then we should have 66 iron plates to 33 copper ingots in here. Because, uh, oh, and you asked me what primes the pump? What primes the pump is this thing right here. So when the blue signal turns back on because the output is drained or, or the uh, input is drained enough, that will create a single pulse over here and that will reactivate the whole system. And it will only be one single pulse. It's one pulse per activation of the wire. Which is why that needs to be a separate... Uh... Yeah. But yes! This system should, once we have power again... This system should be filling up our assembler to... Ugh, pardon. To ratio. Uh, that's an OR gate, actually. Yeah, this is an OR gate, and it doesn't matter what gate this was. No, the only ones that are important that they be AND gates are these ones. Because it needs to be blue and white, and on the other end it needs to be blue and black. I am probably not explaining this as well as I could because I'm frazzled, tired, whatever. We'll be building more of these types of systems eventually anyway. Eventually. But yes, yes, yes. This is exciting though, isn't it? Once we have our power rebooted, then we will have redstone and light engineering blocks fully automated now. And effectively that'll mean that we have all the pistons as well. I just need to load up wood into it. 
So yeah, we're getting there. We are finally getting to a state that might be called there. And that is a wonderful feeling. So, everyone, thank you for joining me, Fox, Computer Wizard. Lovely to see you here. And yeah, and then once we have our blocks, it is time for biofuel. It is past time for biofuel. Uh, that is what I was making the system for, is to make biofuel easier. Because we're going to need to make tons of garden cloches. And garden cloches are all going to require heavy engineering blocks. One each. And we're going to need, like, I don't know, probably... 40-ish of them? Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention building more diesel generators in order to utilize it all. As well as the squeezer, the refinery. It'll be a bit of building. And that's why I want this thing assisting me with it. But yes, yes, yes. Everyone, have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. Uh, between episodes, I will track down another spot for um, the, the uh, pump jacks. We should have some we should have some nearby. I shouldn't have to move them very far. That area was loaded with oil wells. So I will move those pump jacks once more and I will see if I can get our oil system rebooted. Uh, until then, I will see you on the next time. Good night, everybody.